Hey everyone, welcome back to Lisbon McDIY. In today's video, we are heading to the thrift store and I wanna show you how to shop the thrift store like a designer. So if you're working on a room in your house or there's some decorating you wanna do on a specific room, I'm gonna show you how I plan things out before I go to the thrift store. So tomorrow I'm going to be going to the thrift store and I've been sitting here planning out what I'm going to be picking up at the thrift store. And I thought, hey, this is content that you guys need to see. So if you're not a designer, if you're not used to shopping at the thrift store to decorate your home, I'm gonna share with you what I'm working on right now. So hopefully when you go into the thrift store, it'll help you with having a better plan. So I love to have notebooks around. I love putting all of my ideas in there. It really just helps me. So what I'm working on is a craft room space. And whenever I'm redoing a room, I love to draw the room out. That way I can see the space. I put in all of the measurements so I know where things can go and what will fit in the space. So right here I have my room and then as I buy things, I'll just put a little note. Like down here, this wall is 27 by 2.5 inches and I bought this little white wall cabinet that was like $4 that I picked up. I think I picked it up at a garage sale and it's going to fit perfectly on this wall. So you really have to map it out and have your measurements to know what's going to fit. So then on my next page, whenever I'm getting ready to go to the thrift store, like right now, I kind of put together a little list for myself. So I know going in what I'm looking for. So I know for this space, I need a couple of chairs, a storage cabinet, um, I'm doing a little mason jar project, so I need some containers for that. And I also need some decor for the cabinets and artwork for above the desk. And then I put a little note to the side of projects that I need to DIY. Now this list is definitely gonna grow, but um, this is things that I know I need to work on now. So when you're designing a room, making a list like this will really help you be focused when you go in the thrift store because it can be really overwhelming to see all of the stuff at the thrift store and you're like, well, I like that, but I don't really know what I can do with that. Now, a lot of times I do go into the thrift store without a plan, but a lot of times I'm looking for specific things. So, you know, to use the thrift store to your benefit, you want to try to get things that you need for your space at an inexpensive price. So tomorrow when I go to the thrift store, we're gonna see what I can find on this list and how successful I am. Now I may just find one or two things, that's okay. You know, I like to give myself several weeks when I'm designing a space, so that way I'm not trying to buy all in one day. That's when we get into trouble. If you have to get everything in one day, typically you won't find it if you're trying to shop at the thrift store. You also need to be willing to put in a little bit of work, be able to paint something so that it fits more into your decor. Okay, so now that we've done my planning for the thrift store and I showed you how I break things down, let's go shopping. So I like to just keep a tape measure in my purse. It helps when I need to measure something at the thrift store. So I'll just snap a picture with my phone and then I have it ready to go. Okay, I have my list. I know what I'm gonna look for. Now I'm getting ready to go into the thrift store. So we will see what I find and I'll try to give you my tips along the way. Thank you. We'll just put that in the car. Here's a great piece of wood that would be $2 and put a sign on it. 
So I'm always checking out the picture frame over here. You can get some great deals and maybe just update the frame on it. So that would be $12 for both frames. So this seasonal tree is $4. So that's definitely a great deal. You wouldn't be able to get something like that and I can definitely update that for Christmas. This one's $3. So that would be a dollar fifty. That one would be two. Okay, that would be a dollar. You always want to check seasonal decor items because people are always donating them. So you can get them, repurpose them, and you don't have to spend a lot for Christmas. That's cute. That's cute. These would be great for organizing. Something like this. Okay. This would be great for you to organize your tickets, but you can also make like a homework caddy with this. You can put in pencils, and this is only $1.75. This to me would make a good shelf for a desk. Maybe to put like craft supplies out. This is only going to be 50 cents, so I can put a I always check the candle holders too. These are great decorative items that you see a lot more for at the store. So you can pick them up for just a couple of dollars. I'm always looking for brass candle holders. They're great by themselves, so you can always pay them. This would be adorable sitting out. And if you can find a set, it's even better. Here's a really cute set of three. And you can easily paint those and they would look great sitting out on a table. You could put them on the mantle. I think these would be cute white and then wet this one. So sometimes you can find stuff already put together and ready. So this little picture is $2.50, so it's going to be $1.75. It's totally farmhouse and perfect, and you don't need to paint it, and it's ready to go. Okay, so another tip is picking up corals. This bundle is going to be $1.50, and I don't really like what they're in, but there's so many different nice stems in here that I can pull these out and use them in other arrangements. Okay, you definitely want to look at the glassware. This container, five dollars, so I'll get it for two fifty. And I need something like this to set out in my bathroom. If I bought this, I don't know, at like Home Goods, this would be like twenty, thirty dollars. So they have all kinds of glassware. So make sure if you're in the market for that, these are great for decorating your home. You could put pumpkins in here. So many different things to last, you know, throughout the different seasons. So this is a great piece. This would be a great decorative, decorative tray to sit out next to your bedside. Really cute farmhouse. I love little copper things. Anytime I find theirs, these are two of them. Totally farmhouse. This would be so cute sitting out for fall. I love it as a grouping. I think I made that. So this would be $1.75 for this one and 75 for cents for that one. Adorable. Keep your eye out on baskets. This would make an adorable trash can in your bathroom. How much? $3, so $1.50. So cute. I think I'm gonna get it. Super farmhouse, too. That looks kind of cute. Should I get this? Mm -hmm. All right. 
going in the cart. <laughs> this is what happens. I need nothing and I walk away with all of this. It's ridiculous. My mom says I need this coat, so we'll try it on. Okay, so this basket, you could definitely turn this into something else, remove these paint it white. You could even take out this strip along here and it would be a really cute hanging basket. So pay attention to baskets that hang because those are really inexpensive and they're also very much in style right now. So I think we might do this one up for Christmas. I could paint it all white, put some pics in there, and I think it'd be really cute sitting out um, on the side of my kitchen cabinet where I have that rack. I think that'd be really cute for Christmas. All right, now I'm going to go through and edit because I don't want everything in this cart, so I'm just going to figure out what I really want to get and leave the rest. I just found a mini clock like the one that I made. It's going to be $1.50, so I'm going to pick that up. It'll be really cute. I'm all done shopping at thrift stores, so now I'm going to go home and show you what I bought. I am back from the thrift store and I can't wait to show you guys what I picked up. At the beginning of the video, I was talking to you about things I was looking for for projects that I'm working on. And I hope that I was able to give you some tips and tricks along the way that you found beneficial. Let me know if you guys like this style of video where I'm providing more tips, how I would use these items in decorating, or do you just want to see me at the thrift store? You don't need all the tips. I really, I'm playing around with different formats for these. So your opinion is so important to me. So just let me know. Um, you know, I love giving you guys my suggestions as I'm thrifting. So if you like that, uh, just if you would mind leaving me a comment, I really appreciate it. So let me show you guys what I picked up. So, um, I grabbed two things that I think will be perfect for uh, the space that I'm redoing. And the first thing, this was like one of the first things I saw. I always look at the pictures and I try to grab them first because the, the good ones always go. This is from Hobby Lobby. It was $5 half off. The frame's perfect. It looks like no one's ever even used this picture. So for five bucks, this is going to be a great wall art piece in the room that I'm redoing. So I was excited to find that. Um, the other thing I'm gonna be using for that room, which I didn't have on my list, is this little clock. Do you guys, sorry, I'm gonna, do you guys remember the clock that I redid in the Annie Sloan Blue? Um, this was $1.50 and I think this will be so cute sitting out. So I'm definitely going to redo this and make it adorable. I'll paint this wood piece somehow. And I don't know what color I'll make it. I guess it depends on where I put it. I've really been into that moss type of color, that green color, so we'll see. I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions for me, you know I love to hear them. Okay, so the other thing that I thought was a good thing if you're wanting to decorate to look out for is florals. And I was kind of talking to you about this a little when we were there. This ended up being $1.50, but you see like these little sprigs right here, these are pricey. And all of these are just sitting in foam, like you can literally pull them out. So I could do a really cute arrangement, probably a couple of arrangements with this in the springtime. So like these little cattails and you know, like these little mossy pieces, these are great. So definitely grab these things. Don't worry about what it looks like in the container. You can always change that out. You can always redo it. So I, oh, and look at this, like that little cute little thing in there. So I'm gonna hold on to this and this will definitely be in like just a pretty cool piece that maybe I paint in the spring. And then I'll already have florals. Like this is way cheaper than if I went and bought all these at Dollar Tree. So for $1.50, this was definitely worth picking up. Okay, so the next thing I got is a farmhouse piece you know everyone's into farmhouse and you can definitely find things at the thrift store that are farmhouse and the key with the farmhouse is you have to look more for the old items so I showed you this little um, basket and it's got that cute detail at the bottom and I just thought this would make an adorable trash can it was three dollars so I got it for a dollar fifty I'm not gonna paint it. I'm gonna leave it just the way it is. This wicker is coming back in style. It's getting to be way more popular. So I'm gonna leave it like this and 
probably in my downstairs bathroom. I'm gonna put this, or maybe upstairs. I don't know, I gotta figure out which trash can needs to be, you know how they kinda just need to be gone through. So uh, $1.50 for that. The next thing I got, and my tip in the store was seasonal items. You can't even see this whole tree. So it's got this cute little burlap thing on it right now. And I mean, it's adorable as it is. So this ended up being $4. So I will probably, um, oh, it's actually two trees. I didn't notice that. So like there's a tree down here and then there's one up here. So I'll do a little update on it, maybe put on some of the white snow, but this is gonna be so cute sitting out. So if you don't have a big budget, you know, thrift store, Right now they have Christmas stuff out. You know, they're probably going through most of the fall stuff, but definitely check out their seasonal decor. Don't worry about what it looks like now. Just think about how you could turn it into something else. And then the next thing I got, which I thought was a great find. So I'm gonna be doing a bathroom organization video. And so I was looking for some glass containers. Um, that are kind of more like candy dishes. And my thought for these was it would be cute to have these sitting out, very decorative, putting in, you know, Q-tips. I could put in cotton balls, so many different things. Soaps would be cute in here. So this was $5, so I ended up getting it for $2.50. If I bought this at Hobby Lobby, it would be $20, $30. So, and it's like thick glass, like it, this is nice. So I was excited to find that. And then this other item, this is like super heavy glass. I don't know if I'll use it in that same makeover because it doesn't look good with that. But even if I don't, this is definitely a piece that I could use in so many different makeovers. So this ended up costing me $1.50 for this super thick glass, which is a great deal. So the glassware is definitely, you know, you can definitely pick that up at the thrift store. Don't go pay full price for that. I hope you gained some great ideas of how you could redo things, look for items at the thrift store to integrate them into your home decor based on the projects that you're working on. And make sure if you're not already, you subscribe to our channel because I will be doing DIYs on most of these things that I picked up and you don't wanna miss out on those. And if you missed our last video, I'm gonna link it here. So just click right here and go watch our last video and I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.